the next speaker. Mr Dutmus, one minute. Yes, Baroness Ashton, you were, you were one of all paid employees of CND and then Treasurer. I, have, I don't apologise for bringing this up because it was not disclosed on your personal details. If your views and those of your CND pals had prevailed, Eastern Europe would not now be free. On the most important foreign, foreign affairs and security issue since the Second World War, your judgment has been hopelessly and demonstrably wrong. Are you the Edith Piaf of the Commission? Nothing, nothing, I regret nothing. <laughs> or are you going to recant these views and formally also apologise to those people that you misled? La réplica di... Yes, two minutes to Madam Ashton to reply. You're on. You're on, I'm afraid. Lady Ashton, you have the floor. All. I just thought there might be another question pertinent to the subject. The issue that... that and the joy of parliamentary democracy is that you're entitled to discuss them in whatever way you wish. Isn't it fantastic? And isn't it fantastic that as we look across the European Union, we have 27 countries engaged through this European Parliament in doing precisely that. It is one of the great joys of my lifetime. I will not. My employment record is a matter of public record. It has been published all the way through my career. The choice of what goes out on individual CVs is usually pertinent to the jobs that one is doing in hand. But if you look on all the things, and you can look, I think, probably in Debrets, which for you will be significant but not for many others, you will see my employment record probably there too. I have never hidden what I've did. I'm not ashamed of who I am and what I've been. When I was a young person, I marched because I believed we should abolish nuclear weapons. You can argue against how I did it. You can't argue against what I was seeking to achieve. And part of what we did was make sure we made connections with all of the freedom movements across the East. I never visited Eastern Europe. I felt very passionately we wanted to see a Europe that was free, and here we have it. And one of the reasons I want to do this job is to take the values I have held all my life and use them to support the principles that this House is founded upon.